When I was a child, my father was framed for a crime he didn't commit. Revenge is sweet, and so is a program that is complete, utter escapism. Before he died, he left a roadmap for revenge. Emily, our hero, infiltrates the family responsible, the evil Grayson. Daniel! And slowly plots her course for justice. Oh God. At the end of the season, we were left thinking Victoria Grayson was killed in a plane crash. Twin engine jet exploded shortly after takeoff. But not before framing her husband. This is the evidence I was planning on turning over. Emily had broken off her engagement to their son, Daniel. Bye. And smooched the love of her life, Jack. All culminating in some publications voting this the cliffhanger of 2012. There's so much more to the story. What does she say? Your mother's alive. So when I get a chance to sit down with the stars, they give me just three minutes to discuss all of this. Three minutes, guys, it's not fair. Uh, I've heard that before. <laughs> And it's like they're plotting against me to waste my entire three minutes. Why is it still New Zealand? It's been around for a while, right? Mm, yeah. Good, so, good but, question. But still, it you is what come. it is. Rega oh, I should. Put it to our Prime Minister. Definitely come. A name yeah. change. I'm sure that would go down. No, I'm not going to well. do that. Hey. So let's get straight to the point then. Is there Hi. any hope for Emily and Jack? Yeah, there's hope. Oh, no. There's always hope because that's what you're supposed to feel. Mm. You're supposed to like kind of root for these guys because Jack is a piece of her that no one else has. In real life though, it's Daniel, played by the handsome Josh Bowman that has a piece of her no one else has. Because they're dating, so their chemistry is no surprise. But when it comes to Jack, Nick Welcher is very convincing. Yeah, I have to act like I think she's attractive and <laughs> cool. <laughs> Um, tough, yeah, no, she's, she's, she's amazing. It's, it's easy to like her. In the next installment of Revenge, we discover that you Victoria, did. in fact, survived yeah, the plane crash. Know. No. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? I am breathless. So was I. A lot? So was I. How could she have survived that crash? Her evil way set to continue. The son of a bitch is trying to get control of her inheritance. I feel she has a, a real character disorder. But saying all that, she does love her family. She loves her children enormously, and she employs ruthless means to keep everything kind of going and keep them safe. And as for this telly mum and dad, it seems You're art right now, can you? sometimes reflect am, life. My father's a mass murderer. My half-sister is an arsonist. I guess the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? <gasps> Victoria! My daughter is actually on the outs with me at the moment. <laughs> She's 16 and a half and is not so enamored of her mother, I think. I am your father, and I'm her father, whether she wants me to be or not. Are you really kind to your kids as a result? My child is blessed <laughs> to have me as their father. And if they don't know that yet, I'm going to be very clear with them later <laughs> on today. We'll all have yeah, our boy. picks from the show, but I... what do the stars think? Pop quiz, ready? Who's more evil, Victoria or Conrad? Conrad. Oh, Conrad, Conrad, without question. They are equally evil. Who's better dressed, Emily or Ashley? Well, Ashley's always more dressed. These are impossible questions. <laughs> Just quick fire, one name, one questions. name. I can't answer that. I have to say Emily, I, I'm Emily. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I actually think it's a toss up because they're both, uh, I mean, Emily. Yeah. Who's hotter, Daniel or Jack? Well, it would be incestuous if I said Daniel was. <laughs> and, and I happen to have a huge crush on, on Nick Wexler. Same. Yeah. Why, why are you doing this to me? We were having such a good time. One name. Uh, yeah. One Daniel name. or Jack? Oh. Jack. Daniel's hotter. So that's 2-1 to Jack, but Daniel can make up for it with one final competition. So you're an Englishman. Uh, yeah. This is an impressive accent you have. Thank you. I'll give a tenner to the person who can do, who can chuck a few Kiwi words together. You're actually going to give us ten, fucking ten New Zealand dollars. Oh my God! I'll never be able to spend um, that because I'll never go there. Do your best accent then. Do your best accent. Accent. Do your best accent. Do your best. I oh, mate, chuck the rugby ball here, mate. Yes. Not, this bad. Is, it's not bad. Well, let's go down there and do it's the hucker. Chuck us a beer. A clear winner here. Past. So I'm going to award you best New Zealand accent. Thank you. Come to New Zealand. G'day. And spend, g'day. Appreciate come it. Come spend it. I will come spend it. Time's up. I'm herded out of the room. I want to do the caravan thing and, uh, and come and look in Christchurch.
But I now it seems they won't shut up. Green, uh, no, Queenstown, the best, the best. Yes, Queenstown, lovely. Definitely needed more than just three minutes. Take care, love. <laughs>